let's get this out of the way. Demon's Souls might be the hardest game you'll play all year, but it's also one of the best. This action RPG will require a lot of trial and error, but it's also innovative, atmospheric, and incredibly rewarding. Challenging and methodical combat, awesome and brutally difficult boss fights, and imaginative multiplayer interaction are just a few of the highlights of this impressive game. Demon Souls is tough, dark, and beautiful, and one of the finest games of 2009. There isn't much narrative to speak of here, just some basic but intriguing backstory regarding the giant beast called the Old One and the demons infesting the kingdom. But it hardly matters. The beautiful and dark worlds you explore weave a story of their own. Every region is harsh and moody, and as a result, Demon Souls draws you in. When you kneel before the maiden in black and she prays, you believe in her conviction. When the blacksmith sneers at you that he needs your business, you can hear the contempt. You'll totally buy into this game's world and the people that inhabit it. It's sinister and it's gloomy, but it feels incredibly authentic. But Demon Souls doesn't just look unforgiving, it is unforgiving. You're meant to die, and you're meant to die often. There are five worlds in all, and you access them all from a central hub called the Nexus. You can visit any world at any time, and when you beat bosses, you unlock new regions to explore but expect to die, and to die often, before you get that far. When you do die, you return to the Archstone at the beginning of the area, and you get to do it all again. You keep your weapons and armor and so on, but you lose the most precious commodity, souls. Souls are the game's currency, and the main way of accumulating them is to kill demons. You can't sell looted weapons, and you can't put souls in the bank for later. You either have them, or you spend them. Should you die on your travels, you leave a bloodstain containing your souls, and you can return to it to get them back. But if you die on your way to your bloodstain, the previous stain is gone forever. So yes, it's rough, and any number of grotesque demons will stand between you and victory. Flying gargoyles, red-eyed knights, and fiends with tentacles flailing from their faces are just some of the awesome creatures you'll fight. And of course, you'll run into a number of awesome and incredibly difficult bosses. Demon Souls never lets up. So what makes extreme difficulty and incessant trial and error such wonderful qualities in Demon Souls when they're so loathsome in other games? It begins with the combat. Everything feels just right. You move and attack with the right amount of weight, and the animations are terrific. Combat is tight and consistent, so if you die, it's because you messed up, not because an enemy broke the rules. You need to contemplate every move, swing, block, and dodge at the right times, and heal only when you're sure you've got enough time before the next attack. But you've got some flexibility. While you'll choose a class at the start of the game, you can wield any weapon and cast any spell or miracle, as long as you meet the stat requirements and have the right equipment. But Demon's Souls isn't just tense and fun, it's also incredibly innovative in the way it lets you interact with other players. The online integration is like nothing you've ever seen. First off, you see the ghosts of other players as they play in their local version of the realm you're in. Not only is it awesome to see the spirits of others as they play, but watching them might warn you of an enemy around the corner or clue you into hidden treasure. You'll also find the bloodstains of other players. By activating one, you'll see a replay of another player's death, which is mighty helpful if you want to avoid kicking the bucket in the same way they did. Players can even leave notes for each other by choosing from a preset selection of messages. You can rate notes that are helpful and ignore ones that aren't. If someone rates your note, it replenishes some of your health. It's a win-win for everyone, the note giver and the note finder. And because unrated notes disappear quickly, there's no reason for people to leave unhelpful or misleading messages. The most direct way of helping another player is to join them in their quest. Demon Souls co-op play is ingenious. If you've defeated a boss and are therefore in body form, you can summon up to two other players to you. If you've died since then or in soul form, you can drop a soul mark letting yourself be summoned. Up to three people can join up and defeat bosses together, which means up to three times the fun. If you're a visitor to the realm, you won't get loot, but you will get to keep any souls you earn. There's no voice chat or invitation system, but in context, the co-op is exceptional. You feel as if you live within a vast web of mysterious worlds. 
Other players aren't always your friends, however. Once you get far enough in, you can invade other players' realms or be invaded. In fact, one of the game's boss fights is actually an invader, which means you can also play as the boss. Invading other players makes you feel deliciously evil. When you get the message you're being invaded, your heart will drop and things get even more intense. No matter how you view it, the multiplayer and the way you can help and be helped by others is fantastic. There are some flaws in here. The targeting system can be a pain, the ragdolls of slain demons can get caught up in your feed, and there are a few moments where the frame rate has trouble keeping up. But these are small flaws in a superb game that has so many secrets to discover. There's certainly a lot more here than a video review can tell you, so I'll just end by stating what should already be obvious. Demon's Souls is one of the best RPGs of the year. It's dark and moody. It's innovative and unique. It's really, really hard. And it's really, really awesome.